Hey guys, it's me again. Today I want to speak to you about choosing the right advisor. I think there's a lot of people out there that essentially just trust maybe a referral from a, a friend or a, or a family member and that's sometimes usually a good, good way of doing things because you can see from their experiences maybe the way that they've treated them and whatnot. But I think there's also some other factors that need to be looked at. And those are the experience of the individual. So when you're looking for a good financial advisor or a good wealth advisor, I think it's good to know what kind of experience do they have? You know, have they been working in the industry for a few years? Because if they have, they've probably seen a few strategies, seen a few um, different client situations, and probably are more aware of some uh, tips and tricks for your scenario. I think another one as well too is look at the qualifications. So many years ago, you used to be able to be a financial advisor by doing just a short course over a few days. Um, so are your financial advisors university degreed? You know, have they gone and done a financial planning degree or associated approved degree by FISAIA, uh, which is a regulating body that um, looks into certain qualifications to make sure that these advisors are of a certain standard. I think as well too is Understand their philosophy, you know, how do they, what do they think about in regards to investing, you know, are they very much, um, you know, uh, for property, are they for shares, or are they a goal-based financial advisor, what is their thoughts or their philosophy in regards to investments, or, you know, what do they actually do, are they a transactional advisor where you come to them for a problem and they sort out with a specific solution, or are they a goal-based financial advisor that looks essentially at your whole situation and puts a strategy in play to get you from point A to point B. I think understanding your advisor and also what they stand for, what's their values, you know, are they you know, there to produce the highest level of return and that's it at all costs? Or are they more of a lifestyle advisor that looks into, you know, not only the returns and the wealth, but the lifestyle of the individual? And simply, what does the advisor do for themselves? You know, is it a financial advisor that's sitting around at a gaming table on the weekends? Um, you know, is that really the advisor you want to work with? So learning about your advisor and the way that they work outside of work um, or what they do outside of work is very, very important. So uh, hopefully there's some good tips. So just to recap, I think some good ones is yes, great to get potentially a referral from a friend or a family, or if that's not the case, actually maybe even asking the financial advisor for um, a few clients that you could speak to that maybe they will um, you know, discuss their situation with you. I think two, how long have they been in the industry? You know, if you, I would say probably a, a good rule of thumb is a minimum of three years. Uh, working with clients to, um, you know, be a, a decent financial advisor. You know, third thing is, do they have a degree or is it just a certificate or a diploma of financial planning? You know, what extra studies have they done? Um, because that's very important to show their area of, uh, area of expertise in regards to certain areas, but also their dedication to do a degree, that it wasn't just done in a short course, that this was done over years at a usually a credible university, um, and it shows you a lot about the person. And I think another really good one is just understanding how they tick as an individual. You know, are they the type that goes out at gaming tables and blows all their money, or are they a, a saver themselves, or do they invest in certain areas that they're advising you? You know, what's their personal views and what do they do with their own money? Uh, I think it's a really good way to understand the individual. Do they share the same values with you? I think that's very important when working with someone. I hope you've really enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please reach out, um, leave some details in the comments or private message me and I'll be happy to discuss. Have a good one. Cheers.